What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about no empires were built on fear. Um, last video I did, a lot of y'all had a lot to say. Uh, some people are worried. Some people think that this uh, business is a money pit. Uh, some people have just like, you shouldn't buy no more cars. You should sit on it and wait a year. And that's not how you build a, a business. That's not how you build a business. Living in fear. Um, when I started the storage auction business, oh my God. I, I, you, you would have to go back to the older videos to see this. I lost $30,000 my first few months buying garbage units. They mess with me. They play with me because they were trying to run me off. Uh, I remember this one unit I bought. It was full of rags. It was full of rags. Rags, y'all. I spent like 400 bucks for this unit and it was full of rags. I don't know why people store what they store. But um, I spent, like I said, $30,000 um, buying garbage units, being toyed, being played with, and I stuck with it. And this is the thing, whether you're going to do day trading, Forex, you're going to lose money. And this is your process of learning how to make money. And a lot of you have been gassed up by these fake ass YouTubers that many of you think that starting a business is super simple. There's no risk. There's no risk whatsoever. That you could just do this, sprinkle a little hustle dust on it and be making that money and still live your life. Live your life. And let's talk about that. Um, this business that I'm scaling, I'm in the process of scaling. I've raised the budget to $250,000. Uh, I still have $60,000 left. I'm going to buy two vehicles today. Um, uh, many of you are like, maybe you're going too fast. Let's see, me buying a bunch of cars, is that why my car was stolen? No. Uh, me buying a bunch of cars, experiencing mechanical failures with used cars? No. So none of the issues that I have happen have come from going too fast. Um, if these things were going to happen, they would have happened a little slower. So none of the issues that I have going from scaling. Because see, here's the point. And I, I have people who talk like, maybe you should talk to such and such person or such and such person. I have researched these people and they don't make the kind of money I already make. So that's kind of my litmus test. If I'm going to reach out to an entrepreneur and it's like, hey, how do you do this? They need to be way, way more successful at it than I am. And if they're not, I'm not going to listen to them. That's just me. Because I, I mean, people's like, oh, you should talk to so-and-so and you should talk to so-and-so. Um, this month, I'm going to cross $10,000 in the car rental business my second month and you can watch all these YouTube videos and you will see a number of YouTubers it took them years to get to that level years so I'm having ex negative experiences let's call it that I'm having negative experiences I'm having um, mechanical breakdowns I'm having car stolen I'm having negative experiences. However, the business is still making money. And once, you know, because one of the things that I've done is I've run some projections and I'm going to run some more projections today. Um, I have a certain target that I want to hit, which will necessitate me buying cars, will necessitate me going forward because... You know, I've been through this before. 
I've been through this before. And I know that starting a business is full of, let's call them the uglies. There's just going to be ugly periods of the business. There's going to be things. But also, you will learn a lot more when you go. Because I'm pushing hard for a reason. Um, I want to prove, because there, there's two things I want to prove. First of all, that my methodologies work. And number one, I'm always honest with you guys. I'm always honest with you guys where a lot of YouTubers will flat out lie to you. They will flat out lie to you. So when I have a, when I, when I talk about the lows, it's like, okay, this makes the, the highs to be more believable. And I, like I said, I got two objectives here. One, to prove that my methodologies work. And number two, to prove that starting a small business is better than investing or crypto or whatever. So I got some pretty large goals that I feel that I can achieve if I just stay the course. And this is something else too. I'm investing $250,000 in this business and I don't expect to be taking any money out of the business for a year. Let me say that again. I'm spending $250,000 today, well, this month. I, I should, you know, because essentially what's going to happen is as the business makes revenue, I'm going to continue to buy cars. This is called a scale-up because once I get to a certain level, because there, there are so many tiny experiments that still have to be conducted, and th this is one of the things... Like when I was in the commercial office furniture business, um, I did 1.5 million, but I made so many mistakes. And th this is the thing. If you think you can start a business and not make any mistakes, um, you, you're living in a, a state of delusion. You're living in a fantasy land. And this is why, you know, I've had people who are like, these YouTubers, they're just trying to help, man. And you talking about them. You got your nose up in the air. Who are you? How do you know that they're lying? Because I'm a real businessman. I know what it takes to make money online. I know what it takes to make money offline. And they're lying to you. They're lying to you to get views. They're not trying to be helpful. And it's very, very frustrating because, like, once I, you know, because right now I've got some stuff I got to do this week. Um, but I will get to my, you know, YouTubers Exposed. Uh, there, there's so much content to work with because uh, there's CoffeeZilla and there's this other guy that talk about the fake gurus. They don't even mess around with the fake YouTubers who are just putting out misleading, uh, unrealistic information. That's getting a lot of views because people are looking for easy solutions. And I've been telling you guys for 12 years that when you start a business, you're on a three-year journey. Like, once again, um, I'm frustrated, you know. I, I, I don't want these things to happen, but I know this, this comes with the territory of creating a million-dollar business. You know, I, I got a lot of people It's like, you should talk to such and such. And maybe I'm arrogant, but I don't feel that someone who makes less money than I do currently can teach me how to make more money. Maybe I'm off base on that, but that's how I look at it because, no, I don't have any experience. I didn't, let's just say, we, we, got, we got five weeks of experience. I didn't have any experience in the car business but I got 10 years of experience of selling products to people. What is a car rental? You're selling a product to a person. So I feel that that 10 years of experience is going to help me more so than talking to someone that I'm probably, by December, I'm going to be where most of the um, higher car gurus and the Toro gurus it took them years to get there. I'll be there in mere months. And I know that if I just keep pressing, researching, doing what I'm doing, I'll be there. So I don't feel I have this need to talk to someone to do something. Because like the car rental business 
isn't like overly complicated in itself. You know, someone wants to rent a car, you give them the keys. That's not the issue. The car rental business is pretty simple. It is everything else that's around the business, like getting the cars. Getting the cars, like um, typically, like I'm gonna do two cars today because uh, I'm going. I'm trying to exhaust my budget, um, and that's going to take the majority of the day just to do those two cars. I got to buy the cars, then I got to negotiate with them, then I got to go to the bank and get a cashier's check, and then I got to um, get the car. Then I have to do an oil change. Then I have to get an inspection. Then oh God forbid if it doesn't have a key. And then I gotta get an extra key made. All this stuff takes a lot of time. But the thing is, once you do it, it's done. You don't have to um, do it over again. So that's one of the reasons that you know it, it takes a lot of time buying cars and moving cars and staging cars and taking pictures and all this other stuff. That takes a lot of time. So that's gonna be my day um, today getting these cars my assistant her car won't start so i'm going to be solo today which just means it's going to take more time because what i'm going to have to do is drive there and um i don't know what it is with these people that's why i love this va power man this va power but so you know, that, that's one of the things. But a lot of you guys are under the false impression that um, you can start a business and it's going to be issue and problem free. And you're just going to make that money. And you're going to get the rub on big booty's big booty, Betty's booty, and just chill out and drink uh, fruity drinks and just chill out, and not have no stress. I'm giving you the real. I'm giving you the real. And once again, this, this is what's so frustrating with a lot of these fake YouTubers who are blatantly lying to you with what I call non-useful information. It ain't useful. You can't put it in your pocket and use it. You just can't with a, a lot of them. But once again, losing money is part of the game. Now, I had the $600, $6,500 in um, repairs. I already made that back. The business has already generated that back. So I'm back to investing money into the business. Now, what I want to do is get 20 cars, which I mean, I'm going to have to buy six more cars because the Porsche got stolen. Um, and then in July, I'm not going to buy any cars because at this point, I'm going to be running a bunch of little experiments. Because one of the things that so many people don't understand is how these platforms work. Because uh, I will give you an example. I already, the Mercedes, like hire a car. Hire a car is for Uber and Lyft drivers to rent cars, right? And a lot of people put garbage cars on hire car. I had someone try and rent one of my cars and then he disappeared, which means someone else uh, accepted his request and he popped back up because he's like, this car was like garbage. A lot of people are putting junk and garbage. They're putting the cheapest car that they can find on hire car. And I, I, I'm here to tell you there is a hungry thirsty market there for better cars. I've got um, a Mercedes on there. The girl tried to accept it, but her credit card got declined. But I got a request a day and a half after putting that car on there. So, I have a feeling that as a uh, hire car was founded in 2014 and they're, going, they're growing, they've got some stuff they're working through, but I have a feeling that once hire car gets his act together, it's going to be a very competitive with uh, Toro because right now they're trying to do rental cars for Uber and Lyft drivers 
and I think they're going to expand and segment because I've got I got a girl who's got one of the Range Rovers and she's doing lift and I was like you know because essentially there's some stuff where inspections like in the state of Georgia you don't have to have an inspection for an Uber or Lyft car in other states you do but in Georgia you don't I didn't know that until yesterday when I rented out a Camry to someone and this girl just showed me that she was renting these cars as long as they have insurance and the car is registered they can drive on Uber very interesting but essentially one of the things I'm learning that I wouldn't know this from talking to someone because if I talk to someone they would tell me what everyone else on YouTube is talking about like go out get the cheapest car possible and throw it up on hire car or do this and I've already found out that the winning edge for Turo is being near an airport I've already figured that out and last night I was doing some research and I noticed that there were a lot of people who were nowhere near the airport, but when you put in Hartsfield in the Turo search bar, you would get people old, cause like, once again, this, this is confirming my hypothesis that time on Turo is very important. The longer you're on Turo, the more they will push your ass. Cause I put in cars near the airport, right? And guess what came up? Someone in Cobb, someone in Snellville, someone in um, Marietta. I was just like, wait a minute, they're nowhere near the airport and they were getting a bunch of um, trips because Hire Car, not Hire Car, Turo was pushing them. So once again, no one can really tell me some stuff that I haven't been able to figure out really quickly. Um, one of the things that I want to say is I have a lot of confidence in myself. I have, a, I have a lot of confidence in myself. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand, starting a business is going to come with trials and tribulations. Erica. Did Erica go out and talk to someone who was running these trucking companies? I think she did. And she still had all these issues. Oh my God. She talked to someone who was in trucking and she still had all these issues. Drivers leaving trucks, drivers wanting to be paid in cash, drivers, and she still had all these issues and she talked to someone. See, th this is the thing you guys gotta understand. Talking to someone and getting mentorship is only gonna help you so much until you put your tender parts in the fire, you're not going to know. I'm like, Erica, she talked to someone. She got all these buddies and stuff, and I don't think she's even doing trucking. I'm not sure. I don't know if she sold her trucks and stuff, because she hasn't really been talking about trucking a lot. But once again, there is the, the, the best experience is doing it. That's the best experience. So, um, once again, I'm not like, I lost more money in my startup and like, let's call it loss, lost more money during my startup with the storage auction business than I did this business. Cause at the moment I've not lost money. I had a car that was stolen, but once I get the police report and all this other stuff and file my claim, I'll get that money back at some point in the future to reinvest in more vehicles so i've not lost any money i am spending a lot of money two hundred fifty thousand dollars that's a lot of money uh, i am spending a lot of money because once again this is scaling because like i said i've watched a lot of tour videos and essentially when i get to twenty thousand a month i'm going to be which I fully expect to be there by July, I'm going to be where many of the Turo and the people have taken four to five years. I'm gonna be there in three months because I'm scaling. Because I understand that scaling is spending money and I have ultimate, ultimate streams of income. So I don't have to take money out because see, I'm not trying, because see, I'm building this business correctly. 
one of the things you guys got to understand, and this, this is where so many of you get in trouble, and this is why I keep saying, don't quit your job. You want to build a business and have money to fund the business and money to support you. That is too much. Even though, let's say August, I'm up to 25,000 a month from this business. I can live on that, but I'm not. I'm gonna continue to do my other things. I'm gonna continue to work on my other projects and then just keep reinvesting that income back in the business because if things go the way that I want them to, because I gotta run my projections again, because there's the projections with a commercial line of credit and there's projections without. So even without the commercial line of credit, 14 months, I should be at six figures. And that is faster than any of these uh, guys on social media have done it. That's way faster. And one of the reasons is, even though I'm new to the car business, I'm new to renting cars, I'm new to selling cars, uh, I should have my stuff where I can apply for my dealer's license. Because, you know, uh, there's so many things. Like, I, I finally got approved for my business credit card, which should be coming soon because I'm setting this business up for future growth, future scaling. Because everything that I'm going through right now, I'm like, oh, I need to write this down because um, next year, I'm gonna hire someone to do all this stuff. I'm gonna hire someone to buy the cars. Yes, I'm gonna have to, this is where the line of credit comes in. They're gonna go to auction and they're gonna be buying cars. I gotta train someone to buy the cars. I gotta train someone to do the, the check-ins, the check-outs. Uh, essentially, in my mind, I already have a vision of how I'm gonna have this stuff set up, but I'm building a real business. And once I get my commercial insurance, I can rent on hire car and Uber and Toro and get more money. And I can also rent my cars off these platforms and still be covered. And one of the reasons that I'm getting so many cars, so I like to be like, stop buying cars. And like, you know, uh, I mean, many people's like, buy Lexus, do this, go to Turo and, you know, search the platform and put in multiple dates to see how many Lexuses you see on the platform. You don't see a lot of Lexuses. You don't see a lot, you, you just don't see a lot of Lexuses on the platform. But one of the things I want you guys to understand, this is what real business looks like. This is what real business looks like. None of the stuff that these fake ass YouTubers are, are, are giving you, none of this garbage. This is what real business looks like. Real business, real business. This is what real business looks like. And I want you guys to understand that I'm giving you the authentic face print of the business. Because um, once again, I feel that this business is going to be a million dollar a month business. And I'm going to probably be able to do that within three years. And that's one of the reasons I'm pushing so hard because um, this business, like I've had another month long rental and I think that was like 1400 bucks. So I got assets that I'm able to secure for less, much lesser, much lesser than real estate and I'm getting these kind of, I'm getting, I'm getting like rent money. I'm getting, you know, I had a, net, I had a, a Range Rover that went out for a month. I made fifteen seventy five. That Range Rover only cost me fourteen thousand. I don't think y'all understand. If I can buy an asset for fifteen k, and I can turn around and make thirty thousand dollars in one year off that asset. I don't think y'all understand. That is better than real estate. That is better than real estate. Unless you do maybe Airbnb. Um, but once again, and this is one of the reasons that why until I get a credit line, because um, like the um, car loan hasn't even showed up on my dashboard yet in my credit card statements, because it should be popping up any day. But um, once again, I'm just showing you what real business is. And like a lot of you, I can tell by your comments that a lot of you are 
under the false impression that starting a business is going to be easy. And right now, you know, honestly, since this is the first time that I've started a non-internet, pure internet business in a long time, it kind of threw me. But after I kind of calmed down, because one of the things is when everything was happening, cars were breaking down, I was a stolen car, uh, $700 for a lost key, and this guy's late on this rental, and I'm, I may just tell him to bring it back, because I know once I bring it back, someone else is going to get that car, you know, because essentially I'm like, you know, because essentially uh, I will be reimbursed for that, but also this is something else too, and this is one of the reasons that I got a business credit card for this business early, 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 early. In this business, you're going to have repairs, you're going to need keys, you're going to have oil changes, you're going to have expenses. So instead of having all of this come out of cash flow, I'm going to have it come off that credit card and that credit card is going to give me flexibility because um, essentially with hire car, I get paid every day. Whenever someone rents a car and they extend it, then I get that money like two or three days later. So essentially this will be about money management and cash flow management and um 25 i think um 25 000 of the 250 went toward that secured credit card now i have another secured credit card that's going to unsecure let's see june july august september october so in four months and i'll just take that money and throw it in this business and then um because I'm going to be buying cars, except for July. Once I get these 21, 20 cars, you know, 21 to replace the uh, Porsche, once I get there, I'm not going to buy any cars in July because I want to collect more data and run some more experiments. And then August is going to be my lunch month because at that month, I will have three months of experience and I will have a lot of data and then I'm going to really lunch hard. So one of the things that you guys should understand is yes th this is real business this is what real business looks like and a lot of you are like man this is so much stress this is so much hassle and i'm about i'm about to say something fear never built an empire you're never going to get rich thinking that you can do extraordinary things with minimum effort it, it ain't gonna happen man it just ain't gonna happen and also, here's the guy who had the $250,000. I actually got more money. It's just my cap is two fifty, dollars And why I'm on the cap at two fifty? dollars I want the business to perform. I want to push the business. I want the business to perform. So I'm not going to just keep throwing money into it and scaling up. Um, not my money. Once I get that line of credit or that floor plan, yeah, I will go crazy then i will go crazy but guys this is real business and like a lot of people it's like stop buying cars you should buy hundles and once again you want to know why i'm buying range rovers because that's what people want i found a guy last night really helpful he's been on a uh, toro for a while and all he has is bmws he has range rovers all he has are nice cars but they're older nice cars so this is all he had and they're just going out just going out People, people are people. Remember my video, people smoke cigarettes? You think, uh, and this is something I'm seeing with hire car. People don't want, like, you know, they're Uber driver and they should be driving like a smart car or maybe a little force. They don't want that. They don't want that. They want the nicer cars. The Range Rover went out quick. Uh, the Mercedes, I have a feeling the Mercedes is going to go out this week. And this is a platform that's designed for Uber and Lyft drivers, but there are other people there. So essentially, don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Uh, but I'm just giving you the real because when my, you know, uh, essentially a lot of folks are leaving out some important details in their videos. And I feel that that is counterproductive because if you had a firmer understanding because I knew when I got in this business I knew there was going to be some BS I knew just going in because every business ask Erica and her trucks 
Erica went out and talked to people and she still had all these issues. So talking to someone ain't gonna prevent these issues. Ask Erica. She went out and talked to people at these trucking companies, she networked with these people, and she still had all these issues. She still had these breakdowns. She still had them. So talking to someone can help you navigate certain things, but there's talking to people and there's actually running the business. And I'm actually running this business, which is way different than talking to someone. Because everyone's like, talk to someone, talk to someone. And this is one of the reasons that my training programs work so well because they're based in reality. They're not based in theory. They're based in reality. And I feel that once I get this where I want it to be, and once again, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm not just talking about the good and all this other stuff because the business is making money. Uh, we're trending just depending on how these cars get on the platform and everything. Maybe 15K. <coughs> Maybe 15K this month. I don't know. But August, but July, definitely 20 something thousand. Because uh, essentially, with these tiny experiments, you would think that the Camrys, like, let's talk about my first round of cars. Those Acras were nice. That's why they went out so quick. Uh, um, they, um, they were nice. They were nice cars on the platform. And I'm going to do a special hire car tutorial. But once again, guys, this is real business. It's real business. And, you know, um, I'm not a lazy person because essentially uh, I'm getting ready to do some more internet training programs right now. My focus is on meeting this goal of getting 20 cars. <laughs> That's my number, 20 cars before July so I can have a full month of data set on those cars and then um, I can create training programs for the people I'm gonna hire in the future because I gotta create systems and processes and you know all this stuff is going to pay off in the future. Like right now, I mean, the business is making money, but once again, I am not going to take money out of this business for a year. Why? Because I want to scale it up. Because let's say I just take the money and reinvest it and buy more cars, buy more cars, buy more cars. And let's say in a year, we're at 100K a month. You know what? That gives me so many options. <laughs> It gives me so many options. That gives me such a uh, incredible um, runway. And I, I, I see that. I actually see that with this business. And once I get the Turo facility, the airport facility, because like, once again, I'm, I got these two cars I'm going to buy today. I'm going to put them on Turo as well. Um, and I'm going to slowly build my Turo fleet because uh, I'm going to have, you know, because... Toro has these mileage limits, but I got a few cars. It, it's kind of funny. Like the BMW, which was working really well on Toro, it stays out on hire car. I've not I've not seen that BMW since I rented out on hire car almost three weeks ago. So it, it's it's kind of funny. Um the vehicles that work really well on Turo also really work uh well on hire car. I'm seeing that. So we will see. But once again, guys, you know, you're not going to build no empire being a scared little bitch. If you're so afraid to lose money, if you're so afraid to invest, if you, you know, like, like I said, uh, I'm, I'm just giving you the real. Like uh, I took my dealer's class and I, I finally found an office, which, you know, if you're in the state of Georgia, if you're in Atlanta, it's going to be hard. If you're like in a small town, it's going to be easier. But uh, I should be able to put in my dealer's license next month or maybe the end of this month. And then I don't know how long that takes because I got to get the bond and all this other stuff. Then I got to create another company. I got Mac Daddy Autos, which is where all the finances are coming from. But once I go for my commercial insurance policy, I got to create Mac Daddy Deluxe to put all of these vehicles 
on that policy because when I open up the car dealership, then I got to have two insurance policies. I got to have an insurance policy for the cars on the lot. I got to have an insurance policy to cover me when I buy the car and then transfer it, transport transport it back to my facility. So there, there's a lot of moving parts here. But once again, guys, I'm giving y'all real business. I'm giving y'all real business. And, you know, I'm not one of these fake ass YouTubers who just go sit here and lie to you to get views. There's a lot of that going on. There's a lot of that going on. There's a lot of useless information on YouTube right now. Totally useless. And I'm going to start digging into, tenant, digging into them as soon as I can. But that's all I got for you guys. Uh, look for the new training programs, probably July. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm committed to <clears throat> getting these 20 cars and getting this system to belt up. <laughs> and also, let's just say it. Everyone's trying to tell you how to start a business with little to no money. <clears throat> Why are these folks who, who 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 supposedly have money are telling you how to start a business with little to no money? Because it gets views. Because most people are broke. Name another YouTuber that's telling you how to start a business with 250000 Name one. Show them. Please put the, the comments in the, in the links to the channel. There's no one that's showing you real business they're showing you template business they're showing you how to start a business with little to no money and once again since i've started this business with two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, it is allowing me to get where certain people in the car rental business it took them four or five years it allowed me to get there in three months it's going to allow me to get there in three months there's some really important lessons here if you are looking to start a real business to make some real money. But that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.